Now this is a very simple straightforward equation from physics, you probably know it already, I hope you do, that speed is equal to distance divided by time. Now all of these things here can be measured and given a number and that's what we call a quantity. So um, in physics there are two main sorts of quantities. We have scalars which have a size or you know how big they are which is called a magnitude and we also have some things which have a size and a direction as well and these are what we call vectors. Now it doesn't really matter, they're both quantities. And when we have a quantity, we can often give a symbol because it's, it takes a lot of time to write this all out in words. And actually what we're going to use uh, are some symbols. So we're going to say that V is equal to S divided by T. Now V comes from the, the vector quantity, which is velocity, but we, we have speed and velocity, the symbol V. Distance, confusingly, uh, we don't use D, but we use the letter F. That's just the way it is. Uh, so think about the S in distance. And that comes from another word, uh, a vector quantity called displacement. And then time, we give the symbol t. So these are the symbols for some different uh, quantities. Now, alongside this, we also have the units that we actually measure these quantities in. For example, uh, when it comes to the distance, we measure this in meters. Uh, and we use a symbol m to represent meters. Uh, time is represented uh, with the letter s for seconds. And then we have this uh, derived unit for the velocity, which is then meters per second. And this line here, the kind of slash between m and s, means that we have the amount of meters per second. So that's it. We can represent all of these quantities in physics, often with a shorthand symbol. And remember that you always need to make sure that you think about the units that go with each of these.